Many area cemeteries weren't as crowded this afternoon as they have been other years, but families still took time to visit their loved ones. They spoke with reporter Sydney Gray about what this day means and how they're honoring those who gave their lives. It's a day of remembrance and reflection. Veterans, families, and friends paid their respects to loved ones at cemeteries in Omaha and Bellevue. Joel Babb, who's an Air Force veteran, came to the Omaha National Cemetery to visit his father, who died in 2017. He was in the Korean War, and, and uh, I wish I was able to get up here as much as I should be, but I'm up here today on Memorial Day, and, and um, miss them. You don't, you don't really realize how much you miss somebody until they're gone. Many people showed up, but most kept their distance. Crowds were smaller at the Bellevue Cemetery. Well, this is different because normally there would have been uh, a lot of people roaming around. There are a few people here now, but it's a very small crowd. Retired Air Force veteran Robert Rose says this day makes him grateful for his life. You think about the fact that uh, a lot of people that you have known and do know uh, are not with us and, and you wonder and you think about how it could have been much worse and you also think about how it could have been a lot better. And for Kylie Nickish, it's a day to teach her six children about their grandfather who fought for our country. Just to let them know that we're here and you know, I, I don't think of this day as the only day I think of them. I know they're always with me, and but I want my kids to see um, where they come from. She says the unusual stillness of the cemetery made her emotional. Kind of makes it a little bit harder to be here, I guess. Right. Yeah. I don't know, it just the family gatherings, you know, it just, you're used to having the, the family gatherings. The pandemic couldn't stop people like Nickish from showing love for others who gave all. In Omaha, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now.